Hello everybody and welcome to the Hunter Gather channel and I just happened to swing home for a little bit. It's noon and I was walking around the backyard and I thought, man, I hear more buzzing than I normally do. And we've got a swarm in progress. There's kind of buzzing everywhere around this pine tree. So I'm going to hang out here and see if I can figure out where they're headed because they're just all just kind of flying around this tree and I think they're looking to somewhere to land and I'm not sure exactly where they came from because the hives over there everything seems to be in order and the hives over here well we're just gonna find out well I'm gonna say that this is our culprit right there and I've been in this box multiple times, trying to keep an eye on them, but I haven't been in them in uh, about a week or so. Now I wouldn't think a whole lot about that if I was just to come up to it the way it is. But you can tell something was something's a little different than everything else. It's not super warm. It's about 75, 80 degrees out. And something just doesn't seem right, right? Well, it's because there's about a couple thousand bees flying around out there around that pine tree. So I gotta try to see what they're doing out there. Whether it's I mean we had a lane queen in here the last time I was here. And they've got these two boxes up here. And the last time I was in there, they weren't really working them too heavily. But that's why I was going to get in today. It's been raining for the last three or four days, off and on. That seems to be what happens when the damage happens. They, they can't get in and out as easily or whatever, and they start thinking of things. That pine tree is that one right there that you can see. And they're just buzzing all around it. So I'm going to get out there and really pay attention to worth what the girls are up to and see if I can see them land on something and then take it from there. Doggone them. It's never a dull moment. I thought we were good. I thought we were good, girls. And then you go and do this on me. I don't see that they're landing anywhere yet. I've got a feeling they're going to go all the way to the top of that stupid thing. They're all around the whole tree. But they're, they're working their way higher and higher and higher. It's starting to rain. And they're thinking, man, this was a poor decision on our part. <laughs> I hope they're thinking that. It would be awesome if they went back to their box, but it looks like it's slower over by the boxes. Not a whole lot of activity going on over there. The rain's coming down more and more. You'd think they'd find a spot to land. Just not seeing anything yet. They're staying high. I had them do this to me once last year, or two years ago. I followed them all the way down, all the way down my road, like quite a ways over, like way over this way. And then they worked their way back to their box. They found a landing spot. Pretty heavy branch. And it goes down to the main trunk over there. And then down that tree. I might be able to climb up the tree and shimmy all the way out that branch. See if I, see if I can find that queen and then maybe shake the rest of them out. It's a pretty heavy branch to shake though, we'll see. It's up there, they like the tall ones, I guess. So this is a true hunter-gatherer situation. This is gonna bring my hunting and my bees and my need to catch things all together. 
we've got a string up in the tree. I did that the other day. The sucker's up there, but I'm not bringing a ladder into it. Um, it's a big branch hanging over, and uh, this is what I'm gonna use. Like I said, this is bringing my hunter and the gatherer all together. And this, for you beekeepers that don't hunt and may not know anything about saddle hunting, this is called a tethered tree saddle. It's kind of like a rock climbing harness. I'm gonna throw that on. I'm gonna use this rope in a SRT fashion, single rope technique. And I'm taking this rope up over that branch and I'm gonna climb the rope and I'm gonna get the bees. And for you hunters that do saddle hunt, that's what this is about, I'm using the saddle outside of deer season. So I have my climbing rope and my strings up in there. I'm just gonna feed it up around. Hopefully I've got it in the right spot up there. And a bunch of branches will probably crack and break as it tightens everything up when I bring it up. But there we go, we're feeding just about last branch. There we go. So I think this rope is about, I can't remember if it's 50 feet. Anyway, so that's, I would say 25 feet up. I'm going to tie a bucket to the string next. When I get up there, I can haul the bucket up with a frame in it and try to work on dropping some bees down here. We're going to see if this branch can handle it. I've been going on runs, you know, hopefully it'll we'll find out. Ooh, don't break the box. Huh? Don't break the box. I need that. Did you find the queen yet? Not yet. I'm looking. I'm trying to look. You want me to do the same thing I yeah. did it earlier? Okay. Hopefully you can see it from there. I'm pretty sure I caught the queen in the bucket and I'm just going to check in here and see what they're up to. I'm not done. There's a bunch of them up in the tree, but I think we've got the queen down here, maybe. I'm trying to find her, but I'm going to just put them back in. And I've got to go somewhere for a little bit. When I come back, I'm going to hope that they're all in the box. And if not, I'll go back up and see what I can do. So you just be careful over here, okay? You're going to help Papa? You're a good helper. I'm sure he's thankful. I'm going to leave it right there, see, and then the rest of them should come down if she's in this box. If not, I'll be home by like 4.30, 5 o'clock, and I'll go back up and see if I can find her again. I had her in my hand one time, and I didn't have the clip in my other hand <laughs> to be able to hurry up and capture her. But the last time I saw her in the bucket, and I, tried, I put the... Um, frame back on and tried to get the clip out and when I opened up, up I couldn't see her because there was a bunch of bees in that spot and I sent it down and Brenna knocked it on there so I think I think she's in the box but okay. yeah just stay I I'm gonna I don't think anybody's gonna go climbing that rope so I'm just gonna leave oh, it there so. so all right I'm back I'll show you in a second but I got a message from my neighbor said, uh, hate to be the bearer of bad news. 
but those bees are flying back to the limb. So, she was right. They're all back up there. There's nothing in the box at all. So, so I went in a few other hives and uh, stole some stole some uh, frames with comb. Some have uh, a little bit of honey or nectar in them. And uh, I went and got the lemongrass oil, put a little bit of that on the frames in the box. And I put a little bit in, wiped it on the inside of the bucket just to try to get them get them to like the bucket smell. So, I also grabbed uh, sugar water. I'm going to spray them, try to get them to not fly as much. And we're just going to go after them and see, see if we can make it happen. So, onward and upward. There they are. Oops, I'm moving a little quick. They're back up on that crotch of that tree, and it's not a huge swarm, but there's quite a few up there. Got my sugar water spray. Got a couple of uh, frames with comb on them. I wish I wasn't around that one branch that's up there, but they got the fire going over here. They got, they got a pretty awesome supply of pine, and they are ready for campfires like for the next three years, which is awesome. I know they love it out here, so I like it, seeing them out here hanging out around the fire, just enjoying their time on, on the backyard and on the planet here. My lovely wife is going to be here in a little bit, so I'm going to try to get up there and get some sugar water on that. So I'm going to try to not disturb them on the way up. So they're all still there when I start spraying that sugar water. Girls. Ooh. You can see some of these bees just kind of walking around and in and out of the swarm. And I can imagine there's space there for the queen to do the same thing. So I'm just kind of really trying to see if I can find her cruising along. I'm not seeing her. I don't know 
how long I want to hang out on this tree like this. So what I'm going to do is pull this up and grab the sugar water and start spritzing it a little bit. Man, I'm not liking that wind. I do know that for sure. Tightening that right up. We got one of these frames to hang out up here with me somehow. Balance it there. Spray the ones that just opened up now. All right, all right. Whew. No, there's a bunch of them still up there, but not all of them. Let's see here. I got a ton of them in this bucket. The sugar water definitely helped. Time to watch. Sprayed quite a bit of sugar water on so they're not moving real quick. They are making their way over. I got probably three quarters of the swarm in that bucket so I got a real good feeling she's in there but
cluster. Huh? Remember that big cluster. Here? Yeah. There's a bunch of big clusters. This was all a big cluster. And now they're slowly making it in, but they're kind of just hanging out on the box too. I don't know. Can you tell if they're making it in? Mm-hmm. There's a bunch. Just kind of hanging on that wall. I don't know if I want to reach in there and grab that lemongrass thing. Maybe it's too strong for them. Maybe they're like, whoa. Mm. <laughs> Can you get it? There you go. Let me just leave it out here. Yeah. Well, what do you want to do? You want to climb the tree or do you want to... Nah. I will not be climbing any tree. Okay, well the cameras are rolling for you to do whatever you want to with. And I'm going up. See if I can brush the rest of them out into that bucket. I don't know if you want to play with the cameras or if you want to keep an eye out for a queen. I really don't want that tree branch to break and land on you, so with me on it. Mm -hmm. If one of us is going to get hurt, I'd rather just be me than both of us. All right, well, got to get up there and get the rest of them down, so. Like that. Because <laughs> you think I'm going to find them? Huh? You think I'm going to find them? Yeah. It's my, it's, the way your luck goes is usually how it happens. Got a bunch of them. I haven't seen her yet, but I think she's probably, I sprayed them with sugar water and I got like probably three quarters of the swarm and I brought it down and put it in front here and they're just making their way into the box. So the odds are pretty good since I got as many as I did. I'm going back up to try to get the rest of them out of the tree now. Ready? Uh, sure. Bringing it down to you, you just stick them into the box or onto the thing or whatever you want to do. On the sheet or in the box? Either one. Probably shouldn't be right there, sweetie. I'm just nervous of dropping something on accident. All right, this is gonna be my last little scoop here and then we're gonna be done with it. I think. There's not a whole lot up here. I don't think she's up here, guys. Or girls. Okay, coming down, and that's it for me. You want me to do the same thing? Yep. You can disconnect the bucket from that carabiner. And I want to get down out of here before this wind starts blowing more. I don't like it. Or maybe being a baby about it, but it's kind of a little extra force on this branch, you know? Come on.
All right, baby, clear? Clear. Here we go. buzzing up there but they're they're just the ones that have been out scouting all right girls give you some comb this is the one of the combs that I stole from the frames I stole from a different hive it's got a little bit of nectar in it and uh, so they're kind of enjoying that we're just gonna stick the three frames that have comb on them in the inside here. The rest of them all have uh, just pre-built up wax and they're really, I mean they're coming inside but they're just hanging on the front. Anyways, it's got wax on it already and they're just needing to build it up. Just trying to get them to get in there, you know. kind of trying to figure it out but everybody's pretty much down here so and I'm pretty sure that queen should be inside oh ah queen please right here somewhere I just saw her yeah there she is you see her babe mm -hmm. she's right under these girls mm -hmm. see right there yep the fox fire Woo! as Mr. Ed would say thank you Jesus <laughs> you see her she's right in there she's kind of a little one Mm -hmm. Push over to the camera. Great job, babe. Way to, way to be paying attention and right here. I saw you were corralling. Trying to get to the queen. You were corralling her. Huh? Making sure she didn't go anywhere. You had that frame there and that frame there. Yep. Good job. So I'm going to stick it right between these two frames right here. Hopefully they go between those two frames because the last time I did that, they didn't and she died. I'll try to get some of these bees right in on top of her so they'll be like, hey, there she is. excited now they're like hey yep. there she is we found her I can smell her they're gonna start fanning now and they'll uh, maybe start moving a little quicker now that she's in there there we go okay everybody that's it on this swarm capture we found the queen there's a third time I've seen her today uh, but the first time I was ready with the cage, or somewhat ready, my lovely assistant got me the queen catcher and we got her, got her in place. So the rest of these girls will make their way into the box and uh, first thing in the morning I'll, uh, I'll get them over to a spot. Not sure where yet. So I forgot to tell you, today is July 9th. There's some kind of saying, like a swarm in June is worth a silver spoon, and it's swarm in July. Might as well die. I don't know, something that rhymes with July, but I don't know what it is. There's a whole bunch of them, like a swarm in May is your lucky day. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, but we don't want these girls to just go taking off and 
and uh, we'll have enough honey. If they don't build up by that time, we'll have some honey to give to them and try to make it through winter. So, um, you know, they they were looking for a new place. Maybe it was because I was mismanaging that other hive and that made it to where they, they wanted to leave. I'm gonna get in there tomorrow and we'll take a peek at that. And uh, so stay tuned. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see what's going on with that hive, their parent colony. Um, Cause I'm gonna check them out tomorrow and uh, see if we can find queen cells, see what's going on, see if they needed some more space. Um, they had two supers above them and there was a queen excluder in there. Not a big fan of them. A lot of people say they love them, but I'm not always the biggest fan. So I'm gonna get in there, see if they needed space, see if they weren't using those boxes above. We'll see. But anyways, hit the subscribe button, click the bell, and that'll notify you uh, when the next video comes out. We're gonna end this one now. They're working their way in. Queen's in there, and all's, all's good in the kingdom again. Um, so that's gonna be it. I just wanna thank you for watching. If you made it this far, Thanks for sticking around to see what happened. Um, comment below what you thought about the heading up a tree with a harness on a rope. That's my first time doing that, but it worked. I was a little scared. I was about 15 feet out on the end of that. I'm glad it didn't break at the tree because that would have, that was at least 20 feet up there, and that would have hurt a lot. So if I made it through, it might have been like the last hurrah but it wasn't. So thank you, Lord, that we were safe. And thank you, Lord, for helping us find the queen and getting the bees in here. That's it. Comment below. Is that the craziest thing you've seen? Or have you done crazier? Let me know. All right. We love you. God loves you. And we'll see you on the next one. And uh, happy beekeeping. See you later. For those of you that might be wondering, my rope has a spliced eye in the end. Maybe some of you saw that. And you're like, uh-oh, how's he gonna get that rope down? But that's what this other rope is for. And you guys that may have done this for deer hunting, you already know. But if you have a system like this, you gotta have a way to get your rope down. So I have this rope, and it's got a carabiner hooked into that uh, spliced eye. You just pull, and that pulls your rope down out of the tree. And a stick. Pulls a stick down too, in case you need it. There you go. Rope is down, out of the tree. All the equipment's down. All the bees are almost down. There's about 30 of them just flying around up there still. But we got the job done and we were safe. So, except for I got a sting right there and I can feel it swelling. Oh, anyhow. All right, that's it.